Hey, what's up Internet Explorers? Welcome back to Skill Curve, where we post daily videos on cutting edge technology. Today's topic is going to be a bit intense. We're diving into the depths of internet, exploring the infamous dark web. Now, the dark web, a digital ram shrouded in mystery. Why would anyone want to go there? Stick around as we unravel the legitimate objectives, the potential legal pitfalls, and most importantly, how to stay safe in this uncharted territory. So if you're ready to take a walk on the wild side, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Alright, so what exactly is the dark web? Well, it's like the internet's mysterious underbelly where anonymity reigns supreme. In today's video, we're breaking down the three levels of assessing the dark web in 2024. Before we delve into the depths, let's clarify something. Assessing the dark web isn't inherently illegal. There are legitimate reasons such as ensuring privacy, bypassing censorship, and even conducting research. However, the dark web also harbors illegal activities and engaging in those can get you into serious legal trouble. This video is for educational purposes and we believe that you will use the information gained in this video responsibly. So let's get started. Let's talk about security. It is crucial. Without the right precautions, you're putting yourself at risk. So level one is all about the minimum safety requirements. We'll be using the Door Browser, a tool designed to anonymize your online presence. If you don't know what Door is, Tor is just like Google or Firefox. It's a browser where you can surf internet, but Tor, the onion router, offers a plus feature, which is to browse the dot onion sites, which are the dark web. So first things first, you will have to download Tor on your system and install it. All you have to do is go to torproject.org and here you can download it for any operating system that you have. Once you download it and install it, simply open up Tor. Once you open up Tor, you will see something like this. Disconnected door means that door is going to connect you to the door network, which will make a circuit of three different locations randomly picked throughout the world. So once you click on connect, it will establish a connection and that's it. You're now connected. You can serve the internet, like you can go to Google. Notice here that here is something like a circuit. If you click on it, you will see that this browser has been routed through three different layers, three different onion layers, Bulgaria, Germany, and then Russia. And the current IP address of my system is this one. This is what Tor Network does. Tor Network connects you through different nodes throughout the world at random. And this is what increases the anonymity and the security of this browser. Let's go to another side and let's go to some onion sites. So there's this side, Tor.exe, which is something like a dark web bible where you can get the web addresses of different dark websites. Here, as you can see, if you want to go to any news, let's go to BBC. So here you go. This is the BBC's website for dark web. As you can see, the starting letters of their web address is going to be the same as the website's name, BBC. And the next letters are going to be some alphanumeric random string. This alphanumeric string consists of 54 alphanumeric values. And to make sure that you're on the dark web, the domain of every site is going to be dot on you. This is what signifies that you're on the dark web. So that's it for level one. But wait, there's more. If you're ready to take it up a notch, join me for level two. In level two, we're adding an extra layer of protection, a VPN. This not only encrypts your connection, but also makes it harder for anyone to trace your online activities. This is just an extra precaution and an extra layer to your security and anonymity. So to do this, you will need a VPN. For the sake of this video, we'll be using Turbo VPN, which has a free tier, so you can use it for experimental features. Obviously, they will have some ads asking you to upgrade. But you don't have to do it because they provide a limited free usage, which is enough for your experimentation. But if you're really serious about it, you can just purchase any VPN and use that. So I'll be connecting to the VPN first. Alright, so the VPN is connected. Now, there are a few more steps to increase your safety. For that, we'll go to the settings. We'll go to privacy. And down here, we have this security tab where we can select the security level. If you want to be the safest, you can select this one, but this will disable all the JavaScript and everything. And in this way, you can be safe from hack attacks and stuff like that. But that will be to a certain extent, not completely safe. All right, so once this is done, we're all set. So this time, let's go to the New York Times dark web website. So there you have it, the New York Times dark web website. As you can see, NY Times, then the alphanumeric sequence, and then the dot onion domain. This signifies that this website is on the dark web. 
Now, level 2 is a game changer, but we're not stopping there. For the ultimate in safety, let's talk about level 3. In level 3, we'll be running a virtual machine with Tails, a live operating system that leaves no trace. And within that, we'll assess the dark web through tool, creating a fortress of anonymity. If you guys don't know about Tails, Tails is just another Debian distribution, which is used for anonymity and security purposes. The best way to use Tails is through a USB stick, but for the sake of this video, we'll be running it on a virtual machine. To download Tails, let's go to Install Tails. Here, if you scroll down, you will see this option, Red Tails in a virtual machine. Click on that, and it will redirect you to this page where you can download Tails. Alright, so there's another software that you will need, which is VirtualBox. You can download the VirtualBox from their website, it is completely free. You can download it for Windows, macOS, Linux, Solaris. So download it. Once you download and install VirtualBox, it will look something like this. Here you can add a new machine and create the machine. Once your Tails machine is ready, all you need to do is start the machine. Alright, so once you run your Tails, you will see these options where you can select your language, keyboard layout, formats, and you can even select if you want to create persistent storage. But the purpose of Tails is being anonymous. So we want to creating a persistent storage. It's completely up to you if you want to do that. Just click on start Tails. And that's it, your Tails is ready. But as you can see, the display is not really good. So let's change that. Just go here, display settings, and let's change the resolution. All right, so this seems fine. Let's close this out. So as you can see, as soon as you run your deals, they will give you this door connection window where you can connect to door automatically. Just click on this and connect to door. All right, so once you're connected to the door network, you will see something like this. You can click on start door browser to start the browser. And that's it, now you're into the dark web. Let's go and open up the same site here. So as you can see, there's this dot any in here, which means that we are on the dark web. Let's go and explore any of these sites that we explored in the previous levels. So let's go to the New York Times. As you can see, NY Times, some alphanumeric sequence, and the dot onion domain, which signifies that you're on the dark web. Three levels of assessing the dark web. But remember, even with all these precautions, the dark web is not a playground. It's a tool that should be handled responsibly. And don't forget to hit the like button if you found this guide helpful. Thanks for joining me today on Skill Curb. Stay curious, stay safe, and until next time, happy surfing on the bright side of the internet.